Hi, this is Rabbi Young. Thank you for tuning in to the weekly video email. This week we're reading Parshat Toldot, which begins with the Torah telling us it's going to tell us all about Isaac, and then it ends up telling us all about Rebecca. Rebecca is the leader of her generation. She drives the narrative. She controls the story that happens to her family. In the generation of Abraham, the dealings are done through him. In the generation of Jacob, he is the controlling force in the family. But in the generation of Isaac, it's all Rebecca. Isaac redigs his father's wells. He doesn't dig anything new. He doesn't create anything new. He just goes back to wherever his dad was and digs wells for his, for his people. Isaac goes to a king and offers Rebecca, his wife, telling the king that she's his sister, just like his father did with Sarah. He's not, he's not a person who can think on his own, which is why I will very often teach that our ancestors in the Amidah prayer, instead of saying Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, maybe we should say Abraham, Rebecca, and Jacob. It's important for us to note that when we are taking cues from a person, it doesn't matter whether they're a patriarch or a matriarch. It doesn't matter whether they identify as male, female, or black or white, or any other ethnicity, or even any other religion. When we take our cues for a person, what needs to be paid attention to is their values. Does this person speak to the values that we hold dear? And in the generations of the Torah, in, in Parshat Toldot, when Isaac is the male figurehead of the family, it's Rebecca who's in charge. And I think it's good to acknowledge this. And I think it's also good to acknowledge some other characters from our Bible who may have been invisible to us until recently. We'll talk a little bit more about that this Friday night at services. So until then, may you be blessed by the generations before you, both your matriarchs and your patriarchs and everything in between. And may we have a wonderful week, safe and healthy week. And please remember to wear a mask over your mouth and nose.